Hi, it's Megan. Um, I feel like since I do these videos, I get kind of a free pass at the holidays to get a few extra beauty items. And so this review is going to be for the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. This is the actual case. And so it's supposed to be kind of a takeoff on records. So you get kind of a record shape. And then it pulls you know, in and out like a record does. They say vinyl. Um, and you also get a look sheet with the shades on the back. And so this is $59 for 0.96 ounces. So it's a lot. It's 24 eyeshadows. And they say it's an assortment of rainbow hues and neutral tones. They say it's inspired by vintage vinyls with a striking combination of technicolor brights and everyday neutrals. This palette proves there's no shade too bold or combination too daring. It features the inner wheel of the seven nudes and neutrals and then an outer wheel of 17 brights. So these are the new neutrals, these are 17 brights. And I didn't know this, but each of these shades is named for one of the Kat Von D studded kiss lipsticks. And then I guess Kat Von D, one of her favorite tattoos is called My Crazy Life, Mi Vida Loca in Spanish. And um, not tested on animals and her fans were asked to name something and they named it Mi Vida Loca. So I'm gonna go through each and every one of the shades really quickly. I've been having just the worst problems with my computer. It's like completely destroying every video I shoot, not every video, almost every video I shoot. So I'm just trying to get through these really quickly and do the best I can. And so I apologize for that, but I'm gonna go through each shade really fast. First, I'll tell you what I think. I really, really like this palette a lot. Last year, I called the Kat Von D Holiday Palette one of the worst palettes ever, and I meant it. And I just, I didn't like it. I thought it was chalky and awful, and this one is really great. Um, it still has that lighter Kat Von D um, eyeshadow texture, which is a little bit powdery, so it powders up a little bit in the pan and it powders up a little bit in the swatches, but it applies really beautifully. It's just a softer, softer look. It blends beautifully. And so these are a variety of textures, some mattes, some satin mattes, mostly the mattes are satin mattes, some shimmers, um, but I think they're really gorgeous. My only hesitation with this palette is that I have a slight preference for the Urban Decay Spectrum palette, but that one has a lot less diversity in the shades. So uh, I really like this palette. So let's go through all of the shades one by one. Okay, the shades. The first one is Muse. It's a lilac purple. So let me show you again. These are the shades. So the neutrals in the middle and then the colors on the outside. So Muse, a lilac purple. And this is a very light, barely there gonna show shade, but it's like a cool pink, slightly pink orchid purple. And this is kind of like a satin matte, but it's, I don't know, it's one of those ghostly shades. It's going to swatch very light, but it's really dramatically beautiful on the lid. Echo is called a purple glitter. Not very... And this one is just, it doesn't swatch quite as perfectly, um, but it's just a really, it's a slightly shimmery, very simple. It's not like it's duochrome. It's a simple, deep purple very classic purple with a shimmer to it. And I actually, these last about eight hours on me without an eyeshadow primer, maybe seven or eight, uh, with a little bit longer with an eyeshadow primer. The palette last year didn't work so well with an eyeshadow primer. It kind of clumped. These work a lot better with an eyeshadow primer, but I'll tell you what, I really like them. I really like using them wet. They're really pretty. Okay, the next one is Dark Wave, Deep Navy. And so, this to me looks I don't know, it looks a little bit more greenish than just plain navy. This is a satin matte. It's a very beautiful, rich shade. And a lot of these um, more vibrant shades, I really need to blend out. So I've got them on right now, and I'll, I have the next one on, Sith, Synth, which is an ele electric blue. And I've got this in the outer corners, right here in the crease and under on the under lashes. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, almost like a turquoise, more blue than turquoise, just a really vibrant electric blue, right? It's a beautiful shade. I was wearing this combination that I have in my eyes yesterday and I liked it so much I did it for the video. Hydra Ballad is a sea blue. And so this 
this is going to be a little, they're all going to look a little patchy because I'm using a wipe to wipe off my wrist. This looks a little bit more green. And again, just a really beautiful vivid. This is actually really pretty as an under eyeliner. That kind of a shade. It's in the pretty in the crease too. Lemmy is, according to them, a grass green. And this has some shimmer in it. It almost has a duochrome, like a little bit of a blue shift. It's not the most unusual shade, like a blue-brown undertone shift. And it is a grass green. It's a very gorgeous shade again. Misfit. I like shades like this mixed in with brown. So you dot in the brown with the taupe and then you dot in a green. And this, they say, is a Kelly green. And it looks grassy, leaf-like. It looks like a really natural green. Really, almost like a little yellow-brown undertones again. Uh, vinyl. This color people have a hard time using, I think. It's very light. It's like a light chartreuse. It's not going to show up so well. Uh, this is really pretty in the inner corner of your eyes. And this one's very pigmented. It's just it's a lighter shade. Then Legend. I've been using Legend a lot. This they call a golden yellow. And it's a really pretty light shimmery softer yellow. And I love putting this in the inner corner of my eyes. Just totally opens up, brightens my eye. Really gorgeous shade. It's got that little bit of a shimmer, not quite metallic. Um, then Fran, which is a deep mustard yellow. And this is, again, one of these satin matte kind of shades. So that's what's different from the Urban Decay Spectrum. These are a lot more matte. And this is a true mustard yellow, which is like a bright marigold, warmer toned yellow. Overall, I think this palette leans a little uh, cooler toned, but, but it does have its warm shades, like the next one, Analog. This I love. This is, they say, burnt orange. Look at that. It's like a deep, rich orange with a slight brownish undertone. Clearly orange, not red. Harpsichord. I have Harpsichord on. This they call a metallic bronze, but it's a more orangey metallic bronze. A real strong orange undertone. And I put this in the middle of my eyes like that, just to really pop. Then Rewind, which is aubergine which is an eggplant purple. I don't even know how to describe that color. That is just gorgeous. Unbelievable. It's a great eyeliner in the crease, lightened up on the lids. It's just a really beautiful, kind of pinkish, reddish, glistening, purplish, aubergine, amazing thing. Destroyer. Some people have complained that Destroyer should have been more red, and Destroyer is described as a bright strawberry, so it's not described as a red. And this is a more matte, satin matte, pinkish red. And this is actually another one that's really good mixed with like taupes. You put the taupe on, and I can look washed out wearing taupes, and then put just a little bit of the red in the outer crease and in the lower lash line. It just makes me look a little bit more alive, less dead, and it doesn't look like that red eye zombie thing. As long as you're using brown or black with a lot of these colors, they just, they work so much better. You just don't get that kind of weird look. Okay, Swoon is a fuchsia. And again, it's this matte satin thing. It's a very pretty, it's a more of a pink toned fuchsia than a purple toned fuchsia. Love is described as a shimmery rose. Here it is. And this is just a really glistening almost slightly, it's a cool, almost slightly purple lilac undertone, shimmery rose color. And then Anthem, purple. And this is just a vibrant, it has like a slight dual chrome thing going on with the purple. Gorgeous though. Okay, now the neutrals. And we're going to go through these fast. Vox, chocolate brown. And to me this is like a blackened chocolate brown. Again, the satin matte. Then Mulder, which is a butter yellow. And so one of the things I like about this palette is in the middle shades, they have both warmer and cooler undertoned neutral shades that you can put up in the crease. And so Mulder is like a butter, butter color. It's going to show better on my finger. And Noble, which is they call a nude. And this is just a gray. It's not going to show up so well. 
it's a great color to put on your lid and to mix in with some of the colors. It's like a warmer undertoned nude shade. Skulls, iridescent pearl, right here. And so I actually have skulls up here. And this is just a really great shimmery, almost like a silver undertone to that white, but just touch, touch, touch of silver, super shimmery, really pretty in the inner corner of your eyes. Then black metal. And if I sound kind of, I don't know, monotone, this is the second time I've shot this video with my stupid camera. Um, thank you, Apple. This is a matte black. And you can see it's a really deep, rich, not at all chalky or... I don't know. Uh, it's 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 got a slight gray undertone to it, but it's still a deep rich black. Then lyric, which is a white pearl, and I love this shade. Again, one of these just great neutrals. It's like a peachy undertoned, slight bit of metallic shimmer to it, neutral shade. And the last is stutter. And this is just a really great they call it a taupe, really great taupe. So if you want a neutral eye, just put it on there. But then if you take one of these colored sh shadows and put it in the under eye crease right there and into the, um, right in here in the crease, you're gonna get just a huge pop of color. It's gonna make your nude eye look amazing. One thing I didn't say is that as I've been wearing these blues, I started yesterday, actually I put Swoon, which is the fuchsia, right in the inner part right here, under the eye, right where the eyeball little pupil is and that totally made my blue and everything else just pop so much better so overall I love this palette I think it's really really great it's just really fun and it does lean some shimmers but more matte satin overall so I think it's a super wearable uh, palette and if you don't know how to use the bright colors uh, and I should do a video once I get my computer on how to make this work a little bit better let me know in the comments and I will do a video like that but the trick is outer corner, crease, uh, line the lower la lashes, or do the whole sandwich thing where you dip it in a taupe, a pink, or whatever bright color you want, back in the taupe, and then use it just to give that color a little bit more, I don't know, pop and life and vibrancy. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now. Please subscribe on YouTube, and comments are welcome, and suggestions. <laughs>